Hit the game, we keep a five seven. And you know we keep some Mac 11s. I just love me some lethal weapons. Child of God, I see your ass to heaven. So last week we decided to go to Vegas. Well, I didn't want to go because I know how hot Vegas can be, but Alejandro always has a way of persuading me to do things I don't want to do. And for some reason, we decided it was a good idea to take a 21-year-old car. And I even told Alejandro that it wasn't a good idea, but he was like, no, nah, we'll be fine. It's just a four-hour drive. So we start driving. We're driving to Las Vegas. It's a four-hour drive and our car's breaking down. I mean, the oil's good. Dude, I'm always so scared to be on the side of a highway. I just feel like one of them is just gonna fall asleep. And just take us out. Oh my god, dude, that was so scary. <laughs> Thought it wasn't gonna start. Now the car wasn't fully broken, but it was going like 40 miles per hour on the highway. And I was flooring it. All the cars were passing us going like 80. So we drive to the nearest gas station to get oil because we assume that's what the problem was. Oh, so fuck. Hot. Yeah, that, that part's hot. I pour this in and it just blows up. So we get oil and we get a little bit of gas and uh, the car starts working again. We're chilling, we're listening to music. Everything's going fine. But, however, subsequently, don't you just love it when there's a conjunction in there? Well, uh... If you take a look here, it appears that the engine is now smoking. This looks like the antifreeze popped. What is that? The car literally overheated. That's how hot it was. And we had that car for two weeks. Fucking two weeks. All I know is that it's hot. It's 106 degrees here. And there's no shade. We're in a desert. Yeah, we're in a desert. Uh, yeah, it's not a fun time right now. Not at all. Fuck, man. <laughs> we're two hours away from Las Vegas, so we're in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know who to call. Yeah, we're gonna die. Uh, we're definitely gonna die. And it couldn't have broke down in a worse spot. I mean, we were in the center of buttfuck nowhere next to a street called Zysis or... Zesis Road. If you're anywhere near a road named something like that, that's how you know you're fucked. Oh look, I sent you another address. Click on that one and see what happens. Hour 20 minutes. All right, so now we're just here in the car calling people to come pick us up. Uh, we might get an Uber. We, <clears throat> we might get an Uber. Yeah, we might good, man. Uh, call some friends. Yeah, we're just on the phone. An hour and 40 minutes. Look at my face. That's the face you make when you know you're gonna die. I mean, I was just convinced that this was the end. And my time has come. Every single ride was more than an hour away, and that's if they wanted to pick us up. And an Uber would have cost like $500. And it was hot. I know I keep saying that, but I need you to understand how hot it was. The only bit of breeze that you can get was from standing next to the 18-wheelers. God. The wind is crazy, it opened the trunk. So there's no Ubers. Every friend is like an hour and 40 minutes away. Uh, I'm gonna post on my story to see if someone, if like a fan can pick us up, that's so scary. Yo, um, so our car just broke down and we're on the way to Vegas. We're about like an hour and 20 minutes away from Vegas. If anybody lives in Vegas and you can pick us up, DM me. Dude, my phone isn't even working cause it's overheating. Look at this, my phone is bugging. Hopefully that gets out to the world and someone sees it and comes picks us up. Even the water's hot. This is hot. I mean, dude, you can't fake 160 degrees. Like, like the camera feels hot. This car is done. Like, you probably have to leave it here because it's not worth getting it towed. It's not worth fixing it. No, yeah, fuck this car. We called the mechanic. We called the mechanic and basically the mechanic said that the car were heated and it blew a gasket. Then Alejandro and Brandon start to strip down and they try to hitchhike. Dude, what are y'all doing? Help us, dude. dude, you're not gonna get any rides like that. If you try hitchhiking with no clothes on, that's basically filtering your drivers to only being serial killers or rapists. If you were a gay guy driving down the street, we would be like, you're fucking holy grail right now. It would be true, dude. I don't know why they chose to do it that way, but this one guy actually pulled over and he was definitely a serial killer. It was kind of weird, so we told him, uh, we're fine. Never mind, go ahead, drive off. 
Yeah, but other than him, no one else pulled over. Not one person. Hundreds of cars passed by and no one even stopped to check on us. Nothing. <laughs> Like, oh no, just for the camera. Like, yeah. we're out here. But no, this is real. Uh, we're in the, de this in is, the desert. This is real life. Look at all that. This isn't a joke. That is so far. This morning I ran four miles and I'm fasting, so I haven't ate anything today. So that doesn't help at all. What? No, I'm not good. fan passed by. I told him to send me a picture of his location and he sent me a photo. He passed by, but he only has one seat. Yeah, um, you can't go, dude. What so, I mean, I'll go and get help. Hell no, dude. Then an hour passes by and we realize it's kind of dangerous to be right next to the highway. So, we put the car in neutral and we push the car out to the side a little bit. And for some reason, Alejandro doesn't hit the brake and the car, I'll just show the clip. Dude, we just pushed the car into a ditch on accident. Look at this. Why'd you let that happen? This might cause attention. That's good. I can't believe you let it go in the ditch, dude. Yeah, why'd you do that? It, dude, it just makes it look cooler, dude. You did not communicate that effectively. It does look cooler. Dude, honestly, though, look at this, look at this frame. It's like, we, we, um, yeah. You know, actually, the situation isn't that bad. I'm, I'm actually enjoying this because it's humbling. This is a really, this is like very low. You just need your, uh, your telescope to be shifted a little bit. Because I know once I get back in LA, <laughs> dude, I'm going to, I'm gonna be walking outside enjoying that breeze. I'm gonna be in my apartment like, I can't take it for granted. And it can't get worse than this, right? <laughs> then a cop pulls up. I mean, because it looks like we died. And at this point I'm like, fuck, okay, now he's gonna ask for my insurance, which I don't have. And he's gonna force us to get it towed and all this other legal bullshit. And to get the car towed would be around $400 because it was in the ditch. So we asked the cop if he could help us push it out so we could save a little bit of money. Holy fuck. We tried and tried, but that didn't work. We ended up waiting around for a little bit, <laughs> and I guess the cop got bored or something, because he just left. He just left us there, which was a little weird, because I don't think cops are allowed to just leave scenes like that. But hey, now I don't have to show him my non-existent insurance, so I guess that's a plus. It just blows up. It burns your throat to inhale this air. <laughs> Hot. This camera's hot. It's burning my hands. Everything is so hot. I just remembered I had water and it's like boiling hot. It burns. It fucking burns. Everything's fucking hot. And at this point, we feel like we're gonna die. I mean, the heat was immaculate. We're all dripping in sweat and we're just convinced that this is the end. This is where we die. However, Two hours later, Brandon's friends finally come with ice cold water and a working car. So we just leave the Honda Civic there because there's literally nothing else we can do. And the seven of us squeeze into their car dick to dick, but I'm not complaining because at least it was AC and at least the car was moving. Until. All right, so now this car is overheating. We're that's, overheating and breaking down again. That's what happened to our car. It just fucking blew out and caught on fire. Uh, Dude, are you serious? I can't do this. Yeah. How are all these people oh. doing it so easily? What are that's, we doing wrong? I mean, what are the chances that two cars overheat that day? Two of our cars overheated. Your like coolant tank was open. So we pour water in the engine thing to kind of cool it down just so we can make it to some sort of civilization. And we actually make it to a gas station that's five minutes away. We buy antifreeze and finally, finally, we made it to Vegas, baby. See, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. And then Brandon rents out the 36th floor Bellagio penthouse penthouse. Basically the best room that you can get in Las Vegas. Shout out to Brandon.
We started that day stranded in the middle of the desert with a broken 1999 Honda Civic and we ended it in a Las Vegas motherfucking presidential suite. If you don't think it'll get better, just wait, because it always does. Now I'm gonna ride my new whip back home. Brand new whip, got no keys. Tell them I close no stops, please. Soon as I nut, you can go. Leave, got M's in the bank, like yes, indeed. Cardiac glasses, I won't even peek at you. Yellow Ferrari like Pikachu. I got on waiting and watching what he gonna do. Trying to pee what I do, trying to steal my moves. Okay, you cannot make this up. Now the plane has a problem. And they have to get everybody off the plane. What's going on? 